Hi peoples, we're back at Piner again today. It's blowing a gale out there. We're planning on pointing the wall, but change of plans because I'm not standing out in there because you can hardly see from the dust. So, Albie's going to cut out that header above us so we can finally put that beam back in today with his multi-tool. And, and then I've got a few other things to do. There's a hole to fill in the wall. I want to fill the gaps near the VJ panel on the fireplace and then I've got to do some work on the actual fireplace itself. But first, I want to clean up this mess so we can actually move around in here. So I'll get this cleaned up. Albie will make a mess clean and cutting that hole in the wall and then we'll get to it. So hopefully by the end of the day we'll finally have a header back in here and I'll have cleaned up this room, fill the holes and we can start to get this prepped, filling some of the cracks ready to paint this room out. So we're going to get to it. Ready to go? As you can see, there's no beam up here to stop this wall falling down. The white ants thought they'd go to KFC one day and they ate it. So I'm going to cut out here, however far that's meant to go, the beam's meant to be in there, that's sharp. And then we're going to put a new one in there. I'm going to cut out there as well and put a new one in there. So now I'm going to scrape out all that old wood in there. You're gonna cut this with your multiples? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see you try it. Why do you think it's out here? It's not! Got He's my gonna... body tool, I'm gonna cut this big beam with it. Why not? Dear kids, I'm not gonna cut it with this. <laughs>
of bait because I want to leave this here exposed. I want to rub it back, stain it, and leave this header beam exposed. Just the front of it, I'll water around it. There'll be a piece of timber under here that goes there to hold the door frame. I say do that and leave that bit of timber exposed. And the reason I'll be saying no, well, I'll be half and half. I no. I'll be half and half. So. I haven't said no. I said expose it, but I'm putting another piece of timber in here. Okay, so now Abby's got this beam in, I'm going to water around here today so that it's set in. He's just mixing up a batch of that for me now. So hopefully I can get that in today and it'll set off and then I'll sand all this back once it's set in and stain it up. I think it should look good. Reese has still got his doubts, so we'll see what it looks like when it's done. So now that I've filled up above the door with the mix I've got left, I'm going to fill this gap between the BJ panel and the fireplace here, point that so that it's a nice transition between the two. So as I come down, it gets narrower and I don't want to get any of the water mix on these bricks because I've already cleaned them. So I've just got to tape up the bricks here so I can put the mortar in and then I'll take this tape off once it's all done. Look, Daniel, 40 grit, mate, not 60, 40. So that's one side done. I just got to let that dry and I'll probably give it a light sponge just to make sure it's all good. It's looking pretty good. And then Albie started the other side. He's had a little go at it. I'll show you Albie's work over here. Yeah, right here in the it's pretty good. <coughs> That's Albie's effort. So I'll just come over here and uh, fix this up and uh, do it properly. Thanks for your help, Albie. All right. Okay, so I've packed above the header over there with mortar and I've infilled both sides of the chimney and fixed Albie's work. And I've also done a first coat of packing this, so I find that I have to pack it, let it dry, pack it again. So I've packed this corner, I'm going to let that dry for a while now before I put a final layer again over the top. And in the meantime, I'm going to recolour these bricks. So. They were a deep red, and after I mortared everything, the mortar got on those bricks, and I've acid washed them twice, and they've still got a powder on them. So, I ordered some of this stuff, this oxide, red oxide powder, it's like a um, pigment. So I've got red oxide, and I've got Indian red, because I didn't know what colour I wanted, and I've got small bricks, and I've um, put it on both of them as a test, and I think this one's come up a bit fake, but this has come up pretty good, the red oxide, close to 
the original colour of the bricks. And what you do is you just mix this oxide, the pigment, in with a little bit of turps and I just brushed it on and then let it dry and then I had a, like a rough brush and I brushed it off. So now I'm going to do the side of the fireplace to start with just as a test. Try brushing it on and wiping it off and see how that goes on the bricks, see how they come up. And if it looks good on the side, then I'll do the rest of the chimney. Once it's done, then I'm going to seal the bricks. So while that's drying, I'm going to start working on the chimney and see how that comes up. I've just finished painting this side wall and it looks a bit bright. Albie is really not happy with it, but it's not dry and I haven't finished yet. So he needs to have a little more faith in me because it'll look good when it's done. We just need to wait. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning after a big day yesterday. We've come up to Pinery. First stop is the old post office going to go in here and do some work in the gardens, check how the garden is going and I think Albie wants to burn some stuff because fire band starts in another day so it's a cool day today. Hopefully we can get rid of the last of that wood that's been eaten by the termites and we can get stuck into it and then we'll go around to the other place and continue with doing what we're doing. So I'll go inside and get started. Just give you a quick update on this garden here. So I've got it all in. I put in some um, lilies last week. They were probably a bit past their use by, hence why they're on clearance. But they're all starting to come back. I think they'll be fine. I think they'll come back to life. So there's a border of lilies here, which I'm hoping they'll grow to about a metre high once they're in full bloom. So in summer, they'll sort of shade this section here. Um, I've got a whole heap of plants at home that I've been gathering up and some that are from home that we're going to reuse up here. So we've got some uh, lilies and some cycads and some palms and stuff that we're going to fill this out with over the next couple of weeks. So just trying to nurse these guys back to life at the moment and work on some of the other gardens to get them prepped to start putting the cut flowers in. So I'll give you a quick roam around and show you where things are at. We'll go now and check the veggie patch that we planted the other day. Let's have a look and see how that's going. Okay, so a lot of bad news in this garden, unfortunately. I'll go for a little walk around with you guys and show you what's happened. So we've had a massive infestation of earwigs, which Albie mixed up some stuff, which was supposed to be safe for plants and bees and birds and things like that. And he sprayed through here and all around because as you'll see everything's been decimated which appears to have worked because um, we haven't lost anything else since then and some of it's starting to grow back but it seems that it's not safe to all plants so uh, the poor peach tree down the back's looking a bit sad, but I think he'll be fine. And uh, I'll take you on a walk and show you what happened to my beans and Albie's tomatoes. It's been a bit of a disaster this year in the garden so far, but not giving up. We'll keep going. And hopefully by the end of summer, we'll have it sorted and there should be plenty of flowers and plenty of, plenty of produce here. But let's have a look and see how bad it is. So the little apricot tree here is actually starting to uh, blossom, which is fine. He seems to be doing well. And then, uh, let's just say, poor Albie's tomato plants are looking a little worse for wear. They got basically chomped. 
pretty bad by the earwigs. So the earwigs have basically decimated all of Albie's tomatoes the whole way along there. So now I'm trying to decide whether I just go buy new tomato plants and plant seedlings. Usually I grow from seed, but this year I think I'm going to have to concede defeat. Just buy some seedlings from the local nursery and at least try and salvage the season. We'll see how we go. And if we head down this way, it's weird because my strawberries down this end, they all seem to be doing quite fine. They left them alone, which is great. All four of those seem to be hanging in there okay. And behind me here is the poor peach tree, which hasn't fared so well. Must have oversprayed a bit onto that and unfortunately he's looking a little worse for wear but I'm sure he'll be fine. And then I had all beans planted along here and as you can see all I've got is little stumps so I don't even know if they'll grow back but I'll leave them in there, I'll keep watering and hopefully they grow new leaves. I have noticed down this way where I put all of my little bean seeds in that we have got some sprouting so just popping their little heads up just there so I'm going to give this a good water today and hopefully the earwigs are gone now we've got them in, under control and we'll be able to start to see some things flourishing here I'm bringing up a whole heap of seedlings that I've been growing at home in the next week to start to plant this out. Okay guys, Albie's going to keep burning off over here and he's going to drop me around to the other place and I'm going to go and work on the fireplace and put some more water in the wall. So I'll be around there, he'll be around here and eventually we'll get it all done. Okay guys, so I've come back around here because I want to work on this red here. So it's actually come out really good. I'm happy with it. This brick here, I had a little play yesterday and I dusted off the excess red on that. And I think it looks pretty much back to its normal colour that it was before we did all the pointing. So I'm going to work on that, dust that off and then hopefully I can get the rest of this painted this afternoon and around the other side. I'd like to get that done um, and then it'll dry next weekend I'll be able to dust the rest of it off and we'll be able to seal this whole thing so that um, it protects it from any dirt and dust and it doesn't lose its colour. So we're going to get stuck into this while Albie's around there burning all of that wood and tidying up around there and then he'll be back over here later. So I'm going to get to it. Now if you look at this brick here, what I've done is I've just brushed some of the actual oxide off so it doesn't look so red and it looks more like it's natural colour. And I've used like a wire brush and then a little um, scrubbing brush. Seems to work well so I'll get started on the other side and show you um, how I go about doing that. Just off of this wire brush. Make sure I stay on the brick that way 
I'm not getting the pigment on the pointing that I put on there. Just trying to tone down the colour a bit. much more like its natural brick colour now. I'm just going to go along on these. Give them all a brush, give the wire a brush. Let's get into the crevices. And then I just dust it off with this brush here. Once I'm finished and happy with it, then I'll go ahead and um, seal it all up so that we keep it this colour and it doesn't get discoloured with dust and dirt. So I'll keep going on this and I'll show you what it looks like once I've done. Well, that's it for us for the weekend. I have done the... Dyed the wall here, the bricks. Put some pigment on the bricks. Probably tell she's done it because look at her. It's not a red lump and lumper at the moment. Yep, I've got my fake tan on. Anyway, summing up for the weekend. Um, Abby's finished burning off over there. We've got that shed to burn all that stuff that was full of white ants, which is good because we really want to try and get rid of the white ants. We're going to do a good spray now that we've got rid of all the timber. And we've done this here. We're going to let it dry out over the week while not work. And then I'll have a look at it and see if it needs another coat. Uh, I think it looks heaps better, but We'll be show you after it's dried up and see what you guys think. I have over there in the corner where I was pointing that wall, I uh, sponged that up today. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to actually leave it for the week and then put one final coat over it and that should bring it up to level. Um, the header above the uh, door in the bedroom, that's come up really well. So we'll show you that next week. And what did Alvi do? What did Alvi do? Burn stuff. Current stuff, send the laundry wall. Yeah, that's going light. There's a couple of things we'll have to sand back on that still, because a couple of spots are still too low. Because I'll do it like a car, so you know there's highs and lows, and I'll get rid of all of them. It's going paint, light. If we painted them two pack white, it would look pretty good. Just white? Because two pack white. Everybody voted white, so that one will be white. So as soon as that's painted white? No, they voted the bathroom white. Not bathroom and laundry no, white. No, no. I haven't heard and laundry, just bathroom. It was bathroom and laundry. No. Anyway, so that's gone white. And next week we will hopefully have all those painted, so we'll give you a bit of an update on where we're at with that. I'll be up here during the week a few times maybe. I won't be, I'll be back at work. I'll be up here tomorrow night to burn some more stuff before five the last season kicks in. Last birthday. Midnight tomorrow and I'll be back here Thursday. To finish all the painting out the back. We don't know how much of this is actually boring or interesting, so if there's anything that you guys don't want to see or want to see more of, leave it in the comments below because that helps us focus in on what we're going to show you and what we don't. Sometimes we think the stuff we do is really boring, so if you guys are happy to see whatever, let us know. What you think is boring, you might like. What we think is boring, you might like. So. That's right. That's it, we're wrapping up. We're going home and getting ready for another week of work. We'll see you next week. Okay, people, buy, like, subscribe. Bye, friends. Like, subscribe, comment. We love your comments.
and stick up for Alison because Albie thinks he wins every argument. Bye guys! See ya.